Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and I'm going to demonstrate how to deploy a containerized app in Kubernetes using Kubernetes dashboard. My Kubernetes cluster is running in Kubernetes Minikube. So let us start the demo by reviewing the Kubernetes dashboard service. The Kubernetes dashboard service, it runs in the Kube system namespace. Kube's control, that is the kubectl control is a command line option to review the Kubernetes service. SPC is the short form for the service and then I need to specify the namespace that is a cube system to see the services which are running in that namespace. So we could see the Kubernetes dashboard service under that. So we need the node port in which the Kubernetes dashboard service is running. So let's get that. I can use the describe command to get that is the kubernetes dashboard the kubernetes dashboard service can be accessed through the node port 3000 so now let us launch the browser and access the kubernetes dashboard so the minikube is running in a vm and this is the ip address of the minikube vm so now let us access the dashboard the port number is 30,000. So the Kubernetes dashboard has come up successfully. So since we this is the first time we are launching, we don't have any app deployed to that. So now let us click the option deploy a containerized app and deploy an application. So I'm going to deploy two pods here. So one is a MongoDB pod, another one is a Node.js employee app pod. So first let me deploy the MongoDB And the container image mongo the number of pods is one and the service i'll select it as internal because i want only my emp pod to access this mongodb and the port number i'll give it as 27017 and the target port this is the container port again that is also 27017 we can specify a lot of uh, advanced options so here already by default the uh, label has been set that is app equal to mongo so we are not going to set any external options let's click deploy so we could see uh, it has created a deployment mongo and the replica set and the pod so we have selected only one pod so that's it so it is now in the pending state because it's going to pull the image and then it is going to start the pod. Yes. So now the MongoDB pod is running. So we we'll, can review the logs as well. So let's review the logs. So we could see the MongoDB service container is up and running and it is waiting on the port number 27017. So now let us go and deploy our MyEMP. Let's give the name my EMP and the container image. I have already pushed the image to the uh, Docker Hub. So the image is there. So I'll run only one pod. And in this here, I'll select that as external services external because I wanted to access this pod from my system. Port number. So I'll specify as 80 and the container port number is 88888. pod is getting deployed let's go and see the services so here we could see there is a mongo service which is running and we could see because since we selected internal so the type is cluster ip let us go and review the service for my emp it says is pending so let's go and check that but we could see a, a node port associated to that and here we could see it has been set as the type as the load balancer Let's go here and click edit. So we could see the type as load balancer. So that's why it is in the pending state. So let's change it to node boot and click update. So now this service is also in the complete running state. So and we have the port number 32740. So let us access our application using this port number.
so the application has been successfully launched now let us confirm that the application is working properly with the mongodb which is running in another pod click add employee let's add an employee let's give the id give some department then click add so it gives an information added employee with this id so let's confirm that let's go to the home page let's try to get the employee information so we could see that my employee application is able to access the mongodb service which is running in the pod mongo so as part of this demo, we have seen how to deploy a containerized app using the Kubernetes dashboard. Thanks for watching the demo.